Hello everybody, I'm Miss Willow. Today I'm going to be doing something very interesting. It's going to be drawing. <laughs> Those of you guys who are seeing this on Twitch, uh, first video of mine doing some art. If you know me from YouTube or you're, you're watching this on YouTube, you may have already seen that I do a lot of drawings and digital art. So this time you guys are going to get to see that. And if you are new here, feel free to follow, that would mean a lot. Or if you're on YouTube, subscribe, would mean a lot to me. And I'm just gonna see if the stream is working with the volume and everything. Okay, good. So that does work. Hello, everyone. I'm gonna send a little message in the chat, chat saying, Hi, thank you for joining. Have fun. And don't forget to leave a little kind little follow if you would like to. I am new to Twitch, not new to YouTube, but a follow would be greatly appreciated either way. Um, let me actually move my microphone a little bit closer because, mm, can I move it? Maybe no, I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if I'm turning that the microphone won't pick up too much of my sound. Hello everyone, there we go. There is a wonderful little piece of writing for you guys to see. Hello guys, I am having a very nice day so far. This morning was a little bit hard for me, but it has turned around and I am doing pretty well. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. I feel like today is going to be a dragon day. <laughs> Drawing some dragons again. Very fun. I love the dragons. So let me see. I'm gonna start with a little bit of a rough sketch. Maybe the dragon will be gazing upon at the sky, looking at the night sky, anticipating the flying the next day, having fun, looking forward to some fun activity, maybe? I'm planning this as I draw. Usually I don't have an idea in mind already before I start to sketch it. This helps a lot <laughs> just for me starting to draw anything, anything that works. All right, I need to scooch this closer because you guys can hardly see me. There we go, is that a little bit better? I feel like this might be a little bit better for you guys to see. And the little nose has to be a cute little nose and a cute nostril so cute so cute do you guys think that dragons are more like birds or lizards that is a controversial conversation I always tend to bring up I'm like hmm what do you guys think of that do you guys think they're more I think I feel like they are more like birds than lizards to me but many people who I ask seem to think that they are closer looking to lizards. I'm not talking about the biological look of a dragon, but more how they appear. I would relate them closer to a bird if I were to see one flying around. The wings give it all away. That's my opinion. I'm curious to think what other people think. Closer to a bird or closer to a reptile? Because some dragons are feathery. Some are like the Quetzalcoatl, if that is how you would pronounce that. I always think of like feathered serpents as also being dragons. I have drawn so many different types of them in the past. So many dragons over the years that you guys probably who have watched me for a while know that I count almost anything as a dragon. I could draw a cute little fluffy dog looking thing and I'd probably end up calling it a dragon. You know what? I feel like that's up to the imagination. I love being very creative with my dragons. Even adding whiskers to some of them. Whiskers I feel also give a very nice way of expressing a character's emotions other than the mouth and the eyes. It's a very fun little activity to try. <laughs> Gives them a bit of character, if you ask me. Oh, two viewers! Welcome, everybody! Welcome to the stream! Welcome! 
Um, I'm drawing Wonderful Dragon today. Ah, I really like this. His whiskers are precious. Very cute. I'm gonna add a little horn right here, a little, little tiny spike. That adds a lot of character too. Just the tiny details seem to really make a huge difference in the overall piece. I'm gonna give this one very fluffy ears. See, I've been tra I've been practicing over the last little while, drawing smaller scale creatures, more full body uh, people even, stuff that I really struggle with with art because usually I go ahead and do the comfortable thing, which is drawing the profile of a close up animalistic creature like a dragon. <laughs> and I usually don't stray beyond that when I'm comfortable making videos. And I want to get better with my designs. I want to make it easier to draw the things that are difficult for me to draw. So giving myself the time and effort to really elaborate on those skills is hard, but it's necessary. So perhaps this dragon will be more of a fuller body than just a profile or bust. I want to add more details to this one and give it a lot of character. That seems so cute so far. I love this dragon. I feel like, oh my gosh, I haven't done art in so many days. It feels like, when is the last time I was drawing? Oh, I don't know, a handful of days ago, I think. It was on YouTube. I'm gonna give this dragon some epic glasses. He's gonna be a avid reader. Details in the eyes. Love the details in the eyes. Always have to have the details in my eyes here. <laughs> I miss drawing. I need to take a little break from gaming to draw here and there. Drawing's always been a wonderful pastime to me. Brings back lots of nice memories, all that. So much nostalgia comes with it. Oh, some people join the stream. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Sorry, I'm a little bit soft spoken today. My tummy's a little upset right now. I think it'll start to feel better though in a moment. I could be a little nervous about this uh, Twitch streaming. Who knows? I, it is very new to me and today is the first day that I have, I think ever streamed on Twitch. So, or even another platform besides YouTube. So some of you guys might be seeing this on YouTube afterwards. Um, some of you guys might be right now here watching it on Twitch with me. Feel free to say hi, feel free to give me a follow. I am super excited to be growing my community here. It's a very exciting thing to me. And with you guys' help, it can go so far, so much further than I could ever dream. So you guys have one of the biggest forms of influence here. <laughs> and I appreciate all who have followed already. Thank you guys so much. See, I don't know where to attach the dragon's paws, but I do want the paw to be in this corner. So I'm gonna draw it out and then kind of figure out where I want the rest of his arm and hands to go. Yeah, that seems fair. Some curly furs. Yeah, 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 that looks good. Oh, perfect. Oh, I forgot to draw the other horn in the background. Can't forget that. 
That would be a very wonderful detail. And the ear is adorable. Do you guys like the fluffy dragons with the big furry ears? I've always been a big fan. I gotta have a little bit better muscle structure though. Right about here. There. One of the paws facing outward and one forward. It's a little tricky drawing this position, but I think I got it. What do you guys think? This is great. <laughs> He's gonna be sneaking around. Yeah, this is a bit more fuller of a dragon drawing than I'm used to. I feel like it's turning out super nicely. More little fluffies on here. A back talon. Wonderful. I'm actually having such a fun time here on Twitch. I did not think I would be having this much fun. I thought it would be... See, the other times that I have joined Twitch um, and watched other people's videos, it was a little bit confusing to me and I couldn't really figure out how it worked. It was a little bit more convoluted of a web type that I was used to. But right now, I feel like I'm learning very quickly. Today is the first day that I would officially say I have used the, pro, uh, the site. Other than just kind of like setting things up. But this is the first day I've videoed on it. So I'm actually really excited about the, all the possibilities. Twitch seems very promising to me. And I'm not going to stop posting to YouTube. I just also want to do this on the side as well. Or equally. <laughs> Feels like it could be a very nice equal opportunity type of situation. I feel like Twitch, though, needs a bit more artists on here. Like, digital artists like what I'm doing right now. I feel like there is a little bit of a lack of digital art and... Like Paint Tool Sci, Krita, those kind of software artists on here. I have not really seen it. And I've heard that this isn't the best place for them from other people's opinions. I don't know how much I believe that because I'm going to definitely try. I feel like we need more art here. Basically, I more see things like gaming. But you know what? I want to start... I want to be the artist. I want to be one of the ones who strays from the gaming some of the time even though I still do some gaming content and I want to do some other stuff like this because this is another one of my huge hobbies probably my biggest Oh no, drawing tablet, stay on the thing, please. My drawing tablet's being super rude to me. Oh no, don't be rude to Miss Willow. I'm innocent. There we go. Wonderful. And there is the other wing in the back. Beautiful. I do want to add some little cheap scales on here, just to add little detail from afar. And what is the title of this? Drawing Cartoon Digital Art. Good. I didn't want it to be the Minecraft title. I was hoping that would copy over correctly. Even if I just kind of loosely scribble these on from afar, if they're small enough, it is a good art tip for my art specifically. 
to do this because if you have the details small enough, it doesn't really matter if they are scrappy and loose because from somebody watching over here, it is going to look a lot more detailed and intentional. That's what I feel. So for all of you guys who are new to my Twitch uh, channel here, or if you're watching my YouTube, you probably see a lot of my art. But on Twitch, you're probably gonna have to get used to a good combination of content from me. Not too much. Not too much differences, but gaming and art are my big ones. I do also write and sing songs very rarely, but on my YouTube channel. So maybe in the future, if I get more interested in that avenue, I might be doing some jingles and songs. Who knows? It seems like a very fun thing. But right now, I need to focus on the scales. Drawing all the scales. Such a tedious task. Drawing scales is my greatest enemy. And time always pass. But drawing scales is a memory that I will never cease. It is necessary for the dragon art. It'll always go noticed like the seas. When I make little jingles like that, they're kind of bad, <laughs> but sometimes I really put the effort into some music. Just wanted to show that there, be a little bit cringe, <laughs> you know? I like being a little cringy here and there. Expect that from me. It makes me who I am. I'm a cringy girl. But that's fine. That's fine with me. I like being the cringy girl. Oh, beautiful. The back leg, though, needs scaly poos. Right here. It has a nice lack of scales. I don't like that. There we go. And Miss Willow 2022. Beautiful. That's a very nice sketch. I should start doing these more full body drawings. Feel free to invite some friends to watch too. Always means a lot to me. Let's get some blue in here. Let's get some nice greens. A little orangey. Bit of pink action, a little purpley action, a little even more violety blue, indigo. Over here, lots of stripety poos. Here's more blue. I like the background, super unique, super colorful, super vibrant, but also sometimes really pastel. I like very pastel colors as well. Very light, happy sunset slash sunrise hues. It's always a fun thing. Little bit of scarlets over here. Little scarlets will make a nice attention getting background. Next to some bit more prominent yellows. Mm, blue under there and pink and purple. That is not the pink that I am looking for. This is the pink that I am looking for. So many stripes. <laughs> Gotta have some darker tones too. Feel like I need a little bit right there in the corner. No, 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 not in the corner. <laughs> not there. Pinks look good next to yellows. Pinks look good next to practically everything. I will make some beautiful streaks of colors until I feel like it is perfect. Because if it's not perfect, I don't want to... Ooh, that's a good... That's a good one. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, to pick the color of the dragon, this one is going to be a bright red. A bright red dragon. Beautiful. Kind of looks like my character King Augustine, if you ask me. Oh, hold on, everybody. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
I will be right back. I forgot to share this to my Discord server. Oh no. What did I do? Hold on. I will be right there. Don't worry, I'll keep I'll keep drawing. I won't be lazy. Actually, no, I need to stop drawing. I need to post this here. One moment. Perfect. There we go. <laughs> All right. All right. Wonderful. Wonderful. I'll be right there. I just need to go back into live chat so that I can take a look at that. Here we go. <laughs> Finally. Okay, that's so much better. I am here again. Ah, oh, wonderful. I cannot forget that. Even especially when I'm like halfway done with the drawing, that is dire and important. I cannot miss that. How could I forget something like that? <laughs> oh dear me. Oh no. To anyone new, hello and welcome. I am drawing a beautiful cartoon dragon and he's very excited today. He loves the sunset. Maybe he's never seen one before because he's been trapped in his cave his whole life, never knew the beauty of nature outside. So this dragon's enjoying the things that he has never seen before. And just the moment that he came out of his den, there is a gorgeous sunset awaiting him to end the day. As, as starts his excitement of tomorrow, exploring the outside world. I'm also an avid storyteller, too. On my YouTube channel, I've got a playlist called Farrandale Storytelling, and I like to write little stories and chapters with my characters and fantasy creatures in them, and it's super fun. <laughs> super duper fun. I love it. Feel free to say hi in the chat. We don't want it to be lonely here, do we? No. It's sad when it's lonely. But don't feel obligated. It's up to you. I am here and I am nice. I don't bite. I'm friendly. You don't have to be afraid of saying hello to Miss Willow. Well, little old me. <laughs> Not a problem. I love chatting. It is super fun. And I love hanging out with the community and all. There we go. The dragon's back leg. See, this is where this is the part where I want to highlight and draw everything in the dragon. All completely red. Because there's a little trick called a clipping group that's gonna help me color just what I am coloring red. So that I don't go out of the lines when coloring again and shading. So that makes it super duper easy for me as an artist to draw. Clipping group is probably my favorite type of layer. <laughs> Oh, hello! Hello, K1 Hop! I think I know who you are! Hello! Welcome to my video! <laughs> Glad to see you here! Thank you for stopping by! I have started streaming on Twitch, too, because Twitch has a lot of nice opportunities, um, very nice uh, community, it seems, and it seems like a very easy place for me to stream, too, so... I'm not stopping YouTube, so you might see this video there. You might be one of the people in the future watching this video there. But you can check out my Twitch page. Super fun. Never streamed on it other than today, so that's exciting. First time? Doing very well, actually. I did not expect the amount of attention that I received so far for it. So I gotta give myself a little pat on the back for... <laughs> um, Having an awesome community. <laughs> Hello, Berry Glow. Hello, looks great. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you've never heard of Twitch before. 
very new to you. Yeah, it seems... I don't know when it was created, but it's a platform where people can stream and a lot of different creators who uh, make music or record gaming videos have a lot of a fun time here. I'm deciding to put some of my art here, like right now you're seeing, but I don't see a lot of digital artists here. So if I'm gonna be one of those few people, I would love that. A little bit of difference here and there, different communities, always a good thing. Usually. <laughs> and if you don't prefer to watch me on Twitch, I'll probably most likely have these videos on YouTube as well, but at a later date. Because upload time takes a lot of time as well, especially when the stream is very long. So I tried multi-streaming and it just was such a problem to me. Um, the site didn't really work as I intended and I got frustrated, so... Well, I'm gonna be practicing streaming here and uploading videos to YouTube. So right now I have two different types of recording going on. I have it recording a copy of this to my computer so that I can upload it in different places. And I have it live streaming and broadcasting on Twitch where you're watching this currently. So later on I will have that file to put on YouTube. So if YouTube works better for you, I guess <laughs> it'll also be there, hopefully. Unless a problem happens. Hopefully no problems happen. Because my channel is like my portfolio. Here I can't figure out if I can have videos stay up forever. It looks like some people have videos from years ago or many months ago, but the most I could see was that like a partner or affiliate, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure, could save a video on their Twitch page for 60 days? If that's the max, I mean, that'll help me with my problem of permanence with my content. I can have this on YouTube, but I don't have to feel like Twitch is going to be my absolute portfolio that I want to show everyone when I show them like my talents. YouTube is what I want people to see all the playlists of different things I create, because some of those things aren't necessarily good for Twitch. Like, my small animations aren't, like, streamable, so those could go on YouTube. Oh, I should take a screenshot of this? Yeah, that would be interesting. I have it recording right now, so I can always go back and pause it right here. I'll have that file... Currently, it's building it. <clears throat> but I'm very grateful for that, because if I didn't know, th if I didn't have a software that could record and stream simultaneously, then it would make it a lot harder for me to do this. <laughs> oh, hey, Black Bell! Welcome to the stream! Glad you can make it! Glad you can make it! So happy! I'm drawing for the first time on Twitch. I did gaming earlier this morning. But now I want to change up the content a little bit, grabbing audiences from different angles of the internet. All that fun, amazing stuff. You know that. I like blended content. I keep everything on one channel. I have a couple other channels for things, but it got too confusing. I'm the kind of person who gets stressed out if things of mine are divided in different sections. So if I had a YouTube channel just for my game content, and a YouTube channel just for my art, switching back and forth is very stressful to me, so it's even difficult for me to have other social media. So, um, it's a very, very big step out of my habits of putting everything in one egg- one bag- basket. All my eggs in one basket. By using Twitch. Because, you know, I can put it on I'm putting it on YouTube as well, but it has that different community effect that is new to me and somewhat a little bit <laughs> I'm not used to at all, so I'm gonna have to learn how this works. And I need to find out what settings I'm comfortable with, a schedule for uploading that makes me happy, something that isn't necessarily going to stress me out like trying so many different endeavors at once. But this is just two, YouTube and Twitch, for the video making. Can't say that should be so stressful. 
character development? Hmm. Well, this isn't King Augustine, <laughs> um, but it's just another random practice for a cartoon dragon. Um, I said earlier that it looks like King Augustine, but I guess it could be some alternate universe version of him, which would be kind of interesting. If he wasn't an anthropomorphic dragon who walks on two legs like a human and wasn't a king, this could probably be his more savage or feral kind of view, and I love the long, puffy ear. Maybe I want to change his character design ever so slightly because I really like this. You know, I test things out in every drawing, and there's new features that I think of and add to my dragons, and I do really like them, and then they start to develop my characters without my necessary intention to all the time. Always a fun thing to go back in time and see how a character of yours has evolved with or without your intention for it to. It's actually pretty neat. I have seen the past where some of my characters, lovable hyena Phibius, used to be in my first draft for him before I even put videos of him on YouTube with my art. Phibius was going to be the evil overlord with minions and, like, scars across his face and everything. He was gonna be, like, the bad guy. Now he's just the lovable little misunderstood, adorable little canine-looking creature that hangs out with Miss Willow all the time. You know how the tables turn. <laughs> Very fun. I love seeing the characters develop as you draw. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you! I love it too! It is a very fun thing because if I scroll back, I can see that I just began with the eye. Not knowing what it's gonna turn into. Could have been a fairy, could have been a princess, but it's a dragon. And it was just gonna be the dragon's neck and head. Now it's almost a full dragon crouching and he, now he has kind of a storyline to him. Never been outside of his cave, but one day... He was inspired to take a look at what he's missing out on as the perfect moment arises and there's a beautiful sunset and it inspires him to want to adventure outside his den every day, taking the time to explore and to learn more about the world. He already has a story and it develops so much, so much more than you could imagine. So I appreciate you saying that because that is exactly how I feel. He's gonna have spots and tiger stripes on him. Little red spots and tiger stripes and little dots. I want this dragon to be very decorated. The little details on the back like this really are one of my favorite parts of drawing because this is where I can really start to unsuppress the artistic needs of myself to elaborate on a design super incredibly. <laughs> oh, you think that... <laughs> he looks like he's having devious thoughts. <laughs> oh, very interesting. Ah, the dragon's instincts as he finds the sun for the first time mistakes it as a giant lemon drop. Giant lemon wants to eat it, thinking about how he is going to decide to hunt the sun, as he has never been outside his cave. Perhaps he would misunderstand the world around him as merely food. Hmm, I could see a very interesting thought like that. Oh, by the way, feel free to leave a little follow on my channel here. It would help a ton. I'm supposed to be gaining, hopefully, 50 followers by the next, like, 29 days. So all the help is super duper appreciated. I want to see how far I can go with this Twitch journey. And maybe even someday I could become an affiliate here. So exciting. That means that I would be able to, I could say, kind of monetize my content in a way where people can donate, uh, send bits, which are kind of like 
Um, as far as I know right now, I think they're kind of like pennies. So in, in Twitch, you can get bits, which are like pennies, pretty much. And you can give them out to streamers who are affiliates, and you guys could kind of help me out monetarily a tiny bit, and that would be so cool. There's a lot of different goals that one could set up. Uh, I could say something like, person who donates the most bits during my stream to me gets a shout out at the end. That's just a random example. I don't know if I'll do that or not, but having these little inset, um, incentives to do cool things like that would be very fun. I've got to say. And there we go. The glasses. And the teeth. Can't forget the- no, 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 no. I need to be very precise here, else I'll go out of the lines. Little tiny teeth. It's a hassle for me to zoom in, so I try not to. You can probably tell I'm a little lazy in that manner. He could have a little bit of a goldish hue to his fur. That's nice, a little bit to the edges of his arms as well. Very nice. Very, very nice. Little more orange at the tip. Nice red and orange dragon. Beautiful. Little stripies here. Oh, now he looks kind of like a tropical bird like that. Oh, no problem! Thank you so much for watching! <laughs> awesome! Bye, K1Hop! Alrighty. Oh, first thing you did was follow! Thank you! I don't know if you're still watching, but I want to say thank you for that. I'm super excited about my possible future making videos here as well. It is a fun thing, I gotta say. It is super straightforward and easy. Uh, streaming here. I don't know if it's different for other people, but I'm using um, o OBS Studio to do that. And I just connected my account and it's super easy. I don't even really have to set up a new stream. I just have to enter in a couple little details for it. And it makes it super straightforward. Super duper straightforward, if you ask me. I didn't think it would be this easy to learn. I've already learned practically a lot of the stuff that I need to have here. Little bit of shines. And a little bit more shading on the dragon. I don't, I barely have shading, I just kind of have details. So that is gonna change right now. He's gonna have a lot more <laughs> designs to him. A little bit more depth to the features. Beautiful, beautiful. Love drawing dragons, my favorite thing. Always been drawing dragons. Ever since I was little, little, little. Dragons and dinosaurs were my favorite thing ever. You could not keep me away from them. You could not keep me from talking about them. It was, it's my favorite thing. And of course I was picked on it. I was picked on for it back when I was in school. People wouldn't, like, hang out with me. People would give me weird looks because I was the one girl who didn't like princesses and stuff. So, I never stopped for them. It wasn't worth it to me. I didn't want fake friends. Dragons were always my favorite thing, and if they didn't understand <laughs> the appeal and coolness of dragons, I thought, then that's their problem. <laughs> I don't have a lot of favorite things. I like mac and cheese. I like dragons. <laughs> I like drawing. I like Minecraft. I could list a lot of things that are my favorites. But honestly, I focus a lot. I had put all my eggs in one basket. That's that's my thing. I don't know if it's just a cat bird spirit animal thing where, you know, my nest, everything goes in it. One basket of eggs. And the only basket with the eggs, even if there's empty baskets, is a phrase. Um, 
may notice that I'm starting to travel slightly out of my comfort zone with this whole also recording with Twitch thing. Because it's, I feel like it's good for me and I'm excited about Twitch and I feel like everything happens for a reason. I learn to start new endeavors like this, um, along with on YouTube. You guys are, you guys may see it on both platforms. Who knows? Talking to those future, futuristic people. <laughs> but if I was meant yesterday to really get excited about using Twitch, maybe that's for a reason because I feel like everything works out for the best. And this dragon looks awesome. I'm extremely proud. <laughs> I love him so far. So pretty. Now for a shade layer, I'm gonna use a color that's very not red, so a purpley blue. And I'm just gonna add little, not luminosity, <laughs> shading. This is where I add the depth. This is where you guys can really see the dragon pop out of the screen. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Gotta add that depth to the drawing. Very prominent. Very, very prominent. And then my favorite part of all. If you guys want to know my favorite part, it is this. It is the luminosity, I tell you. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I bet you you guys are gonna love this by the end of the drawing. The luminosity really brings it to life. The shading, very good, but very challenging and tricky to draw anyways. The luminosity, not tricky at all to me. And it makes it look like I spent another extra hour or two making the piece. Oh, that was an overlay? <gasps> Luminosity! Oh my gosh, I knew it didn't look right. I didn't, I knew it didn't look right. That wasn't luminous. This is luminous. Now you guys are gonna see the true magic. Oh my gosh, even an artist like me messes up sometimes. Don't be too hard on yourself about that. Even I mess up. But the overlay added more detail that I wouldn't have thought of adding. Oh, you loved it ever since it was orange. Thank you. Oh, you have a lot of faith in me. I like that. I really like that. You've got a lot of trust in me as an artist and YouTuber slash Twitch streamer. Ow, seriously? Don't do that drawing pen. It's mean. <laughs> My drawing pen just whacked me. That's not nice. <laughs> not at all. Now, I say, is, let me make sure that's on luminosity and not overlay. Here is some beautiful streaks of light. Gotta have the streaks of light. Gotta have the yellows. Gotta have some cherry reds. Gotta have blue. Gotta have purple. Gotta have all the detail little, no. No, that's, okay. All the detail little streaks like that little light right here like the sun he's looking at some beautiful light very much a little bit of uh blurring that and that is beautiful haha <laughs> it's beautiful oh well i am gonna end that there thank you guys so much for watching means a lot to me hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day don't forget to drop a follow or subscribe and bye